In the previous videos of this series, we talked about what is Firebase AI logic and how to use it to build an app where users can type what's in their fridge and generate a recipe with those ingredients. By the way, if you haven't seen those videos yet, go check them out now. I'll wait. But what if instead of manually typing those ingredients, the user could just snap a photo of what's in their fridge and get the list of ingredients based on that? Well, that's exactly what we're going to build today. With Firebase AI Logic, you can ask a Gemini model to analyze image files that you provide directly from your app. With this capability, you can do things like create captions or answer questions about images, write a short story or a poem about an image, detect objects in an image and return bounding box coordinates for them, or even categorize a set of images for sentiment, style, or other characteristics. In Friendly Meals, the meal planning app that we've been working on, I'll use ca this capability to extract a list of ingredients from a photo. We will add this button next to the ingredients field. When a user clicks on that, it should open the camera or a photo picker for them to select an image to upload. Note that this implementation may be different across platforms, so check out the GitHub repository linked below to see how to do it in your preferred platform. Once the user has selected the image, we can send it to Gemini by creating a variable for our prompt, and then adding an image and asking a question. You can also add more images if you need, as long as the total request size is less than 20 megabytes. But we only need a single image for this app. We can then send this prompt to the generative model instance, just like we did in the getting started video. Now, when I run the app and select a photo of my fridge, Gemini will analyze it and then list the ingredients that it found. This is great, but did you notice that it takes a few seconds for the app to show all of the ingredients? We could make this experience more seamless by streaming the response, which means that we don't have to wait for the generation to complete and can show partial results on the UI. To do that, instead of calling generate content, we call generate content stream and display the results in the UI as they arrive. And here's what it looks like in the app. Much better. Although we are analyzing an image in this meal planning app, Gemini can also analyze other types of media such as audio, video, and even PDFs. You can pass these types of files to the model as inline data, specifying the MIME type. To see the list of supported MIME types, refer to the Firebase documentation. Passing a file as inline data may work for most cases, but files provided as inline data are encoded to base 64 in transit, which increases the size of the request. And if the request is too large, you'll get an HTTP 413 error. So how do we fix that? By using the Vertex AI Gemini API, you can store your files in cloud storage for Firebase and then pass their URLs in your prompt. Start by creating a cloud storage for Firebase bucket and adding the SDK to your app. I won't cover that in this video, but you can refer to the documentation for the platform they are developing for. Next, upload your file from the app to that bucket. On Android, it would look something like this. And finally, construct the URL so that it may be passed as a prompt to the model. When it's time to send the prompt, make sure you have enabled the Vertex AI Gemini API in the Firebase console and that you have also configured the code to use that API. And there you go. Now you know how to use Firebase AI Logic to analyze files from your client-side app. Note that the code shown in this video was written in Kotlin for Android, but you can find the equivalent code for other platforms in the GitHub repository linked in the description, as well as in the documentation. If you're interested in adding more AI features to your app, like image generation, subscribe to this channel as we'll soon be publishing more Firebase AI Logic tutorials for mobile and web apps. Thanks for watching. My name is Rosario, and I'll see you in the next video.